Hey, welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're making a pull key, sort of like one of these. So we'll start off with a cylinder. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. And we will make it uh, a bit bigger. It's smaller for this whole thing right here. Smaller one. That's pretty good. And a bit longer. And then we will get these front faces and we'll extrude it pretty far like that far and then make it a bit smaller sort of like that we'll have a little knob at the end so we'll do that same face select for the back and we will extrude make it a bit smaller not too small though and just have a little Little knob right there. And so then we have that, and then we should do the texture of this. So we'll do all of it. Why don't we get uh, a wood texture? So I actually already have a wood texture that we'll use maybe for that. So let's see. And uh, I tried finding a normal full texture, but there isn't really any. So I think that might look good. Press 6, you can see it. Um, here, let's go to object mode so we can see the texture better. That should probably go here. I, I think it would look better. So let's get rid of that from there. And uh, get this whole back area. Gotta select the faces, not in object mode, because otherwise it will apply the texture to the whole thing, and it's not what you want. Okay, and now we gotta do um, select those faces again. Do some bootleg UV mapping. Uh, can minimize this a tiny bit so we can see better. Kind of make it huge. We can kind of drag out that texture a bit better. So, yeah, that's good enough. And we'll try and get a, a wood, like, brighter wood texture. So we'll type in wood texture, uh, seamless. Oh, that's, um, that's pretty good right there, actually. So we'll save that. Save it to wherever you'd like. Take that entire thing, sign a new material, make that a blend. Put those checkers, you can use whatever files you want. I just think these look pretty good. So now I gotta go through my entire collection of lovely images. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's look at um, this texture again. The little thing at the end is kind of black, so let's get those faces. See, select them all. Okay, so let's sign a new material, make it a blend again, and boop, make that black. Then let's see, there is some words right there. You could add that if you'd like. It's kind of complicated right now. Not really needed, so I don't think we should. Um, we can add that white thing right there at the tip. So we can do mesh tools, insert edge loop. And maybe make one right there. It's a bit too far, actually. Um, here. That was pretty good, actually. Alright, so let's get these faces. Um, oops, it's not selected properly. Is it? I don't think this is working. Oh, it's because we have that selected. You can press Q to deselect the, um, what is it called? Uh, edge loop. So now that we have that all white, we can make the tip red. You can do that by just selecting all these top faces. Make sure you don't have any other faces selected. And then assign a new material again, make it blend. Click the thing. And then you can just make it red. And 
I guess that is our finished pool stick. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.